We were going to start this video with a really cool time lapse of the train and all the people moving through it. And then we got here and we saw the length of all the lines here. Oh my gosh. And we realized we're probably going to be really late. <laughs> but we both got coffee. And that's all that really matters. Barcelona. Uh, we made it. And got snacks. It's a great morning. So where are we going? We're going to Barcelona. We'll be there for the next like four or five days. Yeah. And I'm very happy to report, you may have not figured this out by now, but we're on another bullet train. <laughs> Jay's been so excited about this. It was only 10 euros per person more than uh, than the bus, mm -hmm. and it's faster and more fun. It's just so there's something so nice about trains, you know. <laughs> it's just the best way to travel. It really is. That was a really nice train ride. That was awesome. It was only, what, less than three hours? Yeah, you just get to sit and watch the scenery go by. It was so nice. We gotta find our way to our hotel and explore Barcelona. I'm so excited to be here. This is one of those cities that I've been, like, really jonesing to go to. Our tour guide the other day in Madrid was talking about how much more well-known Barcelona is compared to Madrid, even though Madrid is the capital. So, uh... Probably gonna be even more people here. <laughs> One thing about Europe. Teeny tiny elevators. Yep. I guess we're just fat Americans. Stop. Ooh. This is nice. Wow. Yeah, it's a coffee machine. We even have two desks. This one's mine. So the cheapest hostel that we could find in downtown Barcelona was 50 euros per person and we'd share a dorm with like eight to ten other people so we used some points and splurged a little bit and got this instead which I'm really happy about. It's also the most red hotel I think we've ever stayed in but look how much room there is this is so nice. Hallway we haven't had a hallway in a while When was the last time we had our own bathroom? It's been weeks since we've had our own bathroom, so I am so happy. Okay, we've made it to Barcelona, but we have been in Spain for four days now, mm -hmm. and there's one thing we still haven't done. We heard about these small dishes called pinchos, is mm -hmm. that right? Still haven't tried them. 
so I think we're gonna spend the rest of the day doing that. Yeah, we are. So this entire street, the whole walk, we have a like a mile walk to the street that we're going to and it's all walking streets. Yeah, pedestrian only, there's like children playing everywhere and people hang out at cafes and there's no cars. That's so neat. That's awesome. Like I, I like cars. I'm a car person. But I think Europe's changing my mind with this for sure. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. It's really cool. So on the tour last night, our tour guide said, before we leave Spain, we have to go on a pincho crawl. And pinchos in Spanish means to, to pierce. And what that means is they're little tiny appetizers that are pierced with toothpicks and they're served on bread and each pincho has like, something a little different and fun. I love that. And I think this restaurant said each one's between a euro and a euro 90, which is like an insane deal. And we got beer, so it's gonna be a good night. They had an English, like in English directions on how to do this because we sat down. We had absolutely no idea. But we sat down and then we got beer and then we went inside and then picked which ones we wanted and then they heated it up for us and then brought them out. So we got a lot. We got so many. So I picked this one because it looked very fresh and healthy. I think it's a piece of bread with half of an avocado on it, crab meat, some kind of cream. Cav oh, not caviar. What's the the cheaper version? Bro? Bro? There's no way. It's a euro. You can't even buy an avocado in the U.S. Yeah, you, you can't buy an avocado for that. Okay, and then smoked salmon. How do I eat this? I don't know. It's gonna be messy. Oh, it's not attractive. Mmm, that was really good. It's like smoked salmon with creamy crab cake mixed with a whole avocado. That's really good. I went and got a fork and knife. That's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. Okay, so what I got appears to be a deep fried sausage with french fries, something else that's fried. This is maybe a fried vegetable. Uh, all on top of a piece of bread, and I think it has it has some kind of sauce. It looks like hollandaise, but I doubt it's hollandaise sauce. Uh, let's go for it. Definitely gonna use a fork and knife for this because these things are like supposed to be miniature, but they're huge. Okay. It's not hollandaise sauce. It's like a Dijon honey mustard. This is fantastic. I really like small bite-sized foods. You can just keep trying a bunch of different ones and this is very bad for you, but it tastes very, very good. I said this one kind of scares me, so Trio said I had to eat it. I'm not sure what it is. It kind of looks like a, a pepper, like a stuffed pepper, but it's... Anyway, I think it's stuffed with some kind of like mashed potato maybe. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh. Okay. Mm, that is so good. It's like really, really creamy mashed potatoes. It's stuffed inside a steamed red bell pepper with like the kind of like a Thousand Island dressing on top. That one's really good. I like that one. I've heard about these a lot. And we have a couple of friends that have told us about them and they're supposed to be delicious, but it's basically just the Spanish version of an omelet, which means that it has a bunch of potatoes inside of the egg instead of other things. I think they put some spices and stuff in there, but mostly it's about the potatoes. Tia just said potatoes on top of bread. We're getting super carbs tonight. Okay. 
So I really like potatoes. So I'm definitely biased. But that being said, I would eat this every day for the rest of my life for breakfast. It's that good. The potatoes are perfect, they're soft, they're well seasoned, they're buttery. Got the eggs around. I personally don't really care for the taste of eggs, but the texture is really, really good. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm glad that we did this. We just got a second round. Dinner was fantastic. Oh my gosh, I don't think pinchos are meant to be an entire meal, but we had 13 of them, so definitely was. Also, we said we were gonna do a pincho crawl, <laughs> and that implies we were gonna go to other places. But everything on that street filled up, and that place just tasted so good that... We just stayed there. Why would we not? Yeah, it was awesome. It was fantastic. There's just so many different things. I don't know. It's very, very good. Also... <laughs> so this is a monument to Christopher Columbus. Yeah. He's uh, widely known for discovering America before anyone else. Except for the Vikings, potentially the Chinese, and the people who already live there. <laughs> Great explorer though. Anyway though, the, the, the statue more represents always looking towards something new. The idea is that he's pointing towards an undiscovered point and you should always explore. Which yeah. I do like the message, it's really like cool. And it's a beautiful monument. Yeah, and the clouds right now are just, are just absolutely breathtaking. I was going to do Tia for scale, but she asked me not to before we got here because there's a busy street and there's she doesn't need. want to jaywalk, which is understandable. Okay, so instead, we thought today, right now would be a good time to do... Hold on. Okay. Do you remember this postcard? It's from Lisbon. Yeah, it's um, from the... The Castle of St. George. Thank you. <laughs> I totally forgot what it was. Okay. So the winner of this postcard is Ben Bench. Bench? Bench? No, I think it's two separate words. Bench. Bench. So if that's you, send us your address over email or Instagram and uh, we'll get you this postcard. Yeah, we'll mail it to you. Uh, also across the way from here, there's supposed to be the ocean, so we're going to check that out. Okay. There it is. It's like 10 feet away. This is a beautiful little port. They've got ferries, they've got... Whatever this is coming in right like here. Serenading as they come in. <laughs> I love that. Uh, thanks you guys for coming with us today. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you tomorrow. Stop. <laughs> you good? Okay. Anyway, so instead, we ask. Okay. So the winner. Hang on. So the winner of this, oh my god! <laughs>